Well, good evening, folks. Today we're reading a contentious passage, James chapter 2, 14 to 26. And it's summed up in the phrase in verse 18 that says, But someone will say, You have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. And the crux of this passage is that a real faith will produce real deeds. It is not saying that we are saved by our deeds, but that our faith produces deeds. The evidence of Abraham's faith was that he offered his son Isaac on the altar. The evidence of Rahab's faith was that she uh, cared for the spies who came into the land. Abraham believed God and demonstrated that he believed God by putting Isaac on the altar. Rahab believed God, she had faith, and demonstrated it by hiding the spies. And so, how does your faith manifest itself? Not that you can recite the correct creeds or theological precepts, but that your faith produces a life that is evidence of your faith. That uh, it, Your faith produces real care for brothers and sisters and those in need. It's a challenging passage for us. Let's pray together. Our Father, indeed, we pray that our lives may confirm the words that we speak, that that which is within us will produce good works without us, that, Lord, you will be at work in us, and as our faith rises, so will our action, that we will not have an idle faith that pretends to believe things, but a faith that makes a real difference to us. We lift up before you tonight our... Uh, uh, friend Nigel, who Miriam knows, Miriam's friend Nigel. And Lord, we pray that you will be near him at this time. Lord, with the, that you will just be close to him. And even at this time, give him peace and send your healing touch. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.